My husband's making curry for dinner, so I'm gonna grab a few ingredients from the garden. I'm starting off with this garlic that I braided earlier. The paper on the outside of this one already started coming off, so we're gonna use this one first. Next, I'm grabbing an onion. Oh, I guess two of them. Ooh, these were starting to bulb up nicely. I think I probably planted them a little too close together though. As some of you may or may not know, what I eat plant-based, I'm not vegan, but we do eat plant-based. So the curry he's making is gonna have tofu and a lot of veggies. So that's what I'm after right now. Specifically some eggplant and squash. Please don't let there be hornworms. I'm gonna grab this one. I think it could still get bigger, but let's try it. And then this one. This is the Chinese string eggplant. I was recently leaf blowing, so these have dust all over them. I need to come rinse it off. But I noticed that some of the eggplant that I'm growing in containers is starting to flower. This one is called Pistada de Gandia eggplant. And the good thing is that they're doing so well right now. Like, look at that huge one over here. Look how big it's getting, and all of these are in containers. They haven't wilted at all, and I think the reason they're gonna produce really well is because I have shade cloth. This is 40% shade cloth and I have it up because it's really hot here in the low desert of Arizona right now. And I've got a ton of them planted all along the borders. I used to have some really long planters that I made, but I had to get rid of them after rodents got in the garden and started nesting behind them. I went like, I would say maybe six months without anything here. And even though the pathways were wider, I like having more vegetables instead of more space. So look how beautiful they look. I like to add greens to just about every meal we make because they're just so healthy for you. And this is sorrel. Almost all of my other greens have already died back or I've removed them from the garden just because they started getting a lot of aphid damage. But sorrel seems to be sticking around. These kind of stain your hands when you harvest them. I don't know if he needs any peppers. Probably not, but I'm gonna grab a few just in case. But I'm gonna grab them from this plant over here because look how massive it is. This is a pepper bush of I don't know what variety. I've had it in the garden for so long. It's basically a, a pepper tree at this point. The trunk has lignified and it's really nice and sturdy. It still needs a little bit of support. So I have a stake right here and I cut it back every year and every year it just comes right back. I'm also gonna get a couple of these banana peppers. They're not spicy and I think they might go really well in the curry. Plus I wanna use up as much harvest as I possibly can. I think this amount is good. Maybe one more. Whenever he makes tacos, I love roasting these in the air fryer and then just adding it to them. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Last but not least, I'd like to get a squash and I have just the one over here. The variety is called white scallop squash. It's my favorite squash of all time. Is my mustache sweaty? It is, isn't it? Out of all the squash that I've grown in the garden, there's only two types that my husband and kids like, which is the scallop squash and the yellow squash, the yellow summer squash. Look how pretty it is. It could get bigger, but I think it's perfect at this stage. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is. You know what? I'm gonna grab some kale too. And I know that I've got some sweet potato growing over here, so maybe if I harvest some of this kale and use it up, the sweet potato will start to grow faster. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Not all of them have it. Oh, that's so gross. So when it gets too hot, that'll happen to some of the plants. So I'm checking the leaves. These leaves look okay, but these right here are infested. You could see the sweet potato starting to pop out. Oh my gosh. I planted the sweet potato. Look, if I dig, I planted the whole thing sometime at the beginning of the year and it's barely starting to pop up. I know it's better to just plant the slips, but all the slips that I was starting inside weren't popping up either. I totally forgot the carrots, so I'm back outside now to grab a couple. My history with carrots is that there is none because my kids always harvest them as soon as they start growing like this big. Are you kidding me? Look how long that stem is for that tiny little carrot. You've gotta be kidding me. We can do better than that. Let's grab another one, please. Oh my God. Seriously, what? what's causing this? Look how big that is for this teeny tiny little carrot. Mm, not bad, not the best carrot, but it's, it's a carrot. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> I'm gonna pull these all up at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, well, I mean, maybe I just need to be better about thinning them. Oh, oh, maybe this one's a good one. No, oh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> well, I think that should be enough. Megatha! Come on, my love! Let's go, baby! I planted some of the gem here too. Am I starting to come up now? Mm -hmm. But it's still gonna be a few more months. Do you not use certain parts of it? I've never no, used... no, you just don't use the stem part, but all of the rest you can use. I think this will be enough carrots, or you want more? You have to should let them grow later. Well, the reason I picked them now is because some of them are starting to go, like trying to go to flower. I think because it's so hot. Mm -hmm. That smells pretty spicy. Do you want to peel them or not? The carrots? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You didn't peel yours. Because mine were fresh from the garden. Oh wait, we didn't do the onion. This is my first time growing them. I feel like they didn't get as big as I wanted them to get. Like I wanted the big gold onions. Mm -hmm. I still have some red ones that are from Italy, Tropea of Italy, something like that. But supposedly, they're really famous in Italy and they, they made ice cream out of it too. That they're supposed to be one of the sweetest onions ever. I'm excited to harvest them. Is onion from God's stuff? You don't want to harvest it? No. Uh, holes. Holes. Holes? Yeah. They go to God's stuff and the onions are up there? No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. 